Good morning everyone. Today's video is going to be super short. Uh, all I want to talk about is this little adapter uh, which I uh, designed and built myself. It's an angle connector for the Amiga 1200. Uh, I called it uh, the Amiga 1200 verticalizer. It's a part of a larger project Amiga Sandwich which I'm building here. But today we're just focusing on this little angle adapter. So very quickly, what is it for? Well, if you have a A1200 motherboard and uh, normally your expansion board or a turbo board would go like this, but for any reason if you want to mount it vertically, and there could be many reasons for it, uh, my little project uh, called Amiga Sandwich is not the only reason people put a1200 motherboards in towers, call them uh, towerized Amigas. They put them in some other projects as well, so not everyone is using it uh, as it was designed to use within the A1200 case, but uh, there are plenty of uses of it. So for cosmetic reasons, for convenience reasons, or for design reasons, you may want to put it like that, vertically. So for that, I designed this little adapter and believe me or not, it has not been designed so far. Nobody uh, thought about it or maybe nobody needed it, uh, but I needed it for my project. So I designed the PCB. It was my first uh, PCB to design. I soldered it. Uh, I'm also not uh, very professional at soldering. So that was also new to me. Um, and uh, it works like this. So. Uh, so your uh, turbo board is now at a 90 degree uh, angle with the motherboard. But, but that's not the only way to use it. Uh, when I started talking about it, uh, Kuba from the IMP3, Polish IMP3 community uh, thought, hey, maybe we can connect the two of them together and build something like this. So, So that's the uh, second way of using it. Uh, basically, it allows you uh, to put your expansion board in parallel with the motherboard. Uh, you need some kind of support here, some kind of spacer, because every uh, turbo board is different. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's a pretty aesthetic, I would say, uh, nice way uh, of using the turbo board. Um, we uh, built uh, the initial testing badge of five pieces of, uh, of this adapter. Uh, I sent it out to testers. Thank you very much all, um, uh, all of you who helped me, provided feedback on it. Uh, it worked fine. We tested it across many, many expansion boards. I think like over a dozen of them, including Blizzard, PPC, PPC Apollo, whatnot. So it's working. It's working. It doesn't uh, seem to be causing any problems. Uh, and uh, now I'm in the process of soldering uh, 50 more of them. They will be sent out to people who expressed interest. Uh, I don't think I'm going to solder uh, more of these uh, because I just don't have time, but I'm going to publish the uh, design for it and the instructions on how to build it online so everyone can build one for uh, themselves. Uh, basically what you need is the PCB itself, uh, you can order it online um, based on my design. Uh, myself, I used uh, the Chinese company PCB Way. Uh, they were super helpful uh, when, when I posted the design and they asked a few questions like what's the angle of beveling, what's the uh, spacing between, uh, between the finger, golden fingers, all, all these kinds of stuff. So they, we figured it out right at the beginning. Again, uh, they were very nice and very helpful. This video is not sponsored by PCBWay, but uh, I really don't mind sponsoring 
my next video uh, uh, they offered that and I think I'm gonna do that because they are they they were very good and professional so uh, you can order it in any uh, online uh, company that uh, that builds PCBs based on uh, on designs uh, the uh, the design is in KiCut uh, it was also my first, like I've never designed a PCB board before, uh, but it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I learned a lot uh, in the process. The second part that you need is the edge connector. Uh, it was extremely difficult to source this because most of the expansion boards use this kind of connector. It doesn't matter if it's white or brown, but it has angled legs. So in order to uh, built in order to mount the the uh, edge connector parallel to the board you need angled legs for me it's the opposite that I'm trying to do so I want to mount uh, the connector a 90 degree uh, at a 90 degree angle to the PCB for which I need straight legs so finding finding this edge connector with straight legs was very difficult but I did manage to find uh, a UK company called Analogic. They have them. Um, they have them, and, and they are pretty expensive. But uh, I was able to negotiate um, a large discount based on bulk uh, um, bulk order, and uh, that's that. I'm uh, very proud to have built uh, a little piece of hardware for the Amiga community. Thanks. Each of these PCBs has 150 solder joints. I'm making a batch of 50, so that's total of 7,500 solder joints. That's a lot of soldering. I'm gonna be pretty good at it when I'm done. Mm -hmm. 